Metro Louisville does not have enough space inside shelters to house all of the homeless population in our area. So right now, volunteer outreach groups are preparing to hand out life-saving supplies as the extreme cold moves in. WHS 11's Taylor Woods has more on how you can help. As the weather continues to get colder, caring for those who are homeless is a top priority, and local organizations are asking for many donations as possible. Temperatures are expected to drop this week, and there is major concern for people living on the streets. Local organizations like Hope Village are working to meet their needs. Specifically to help people in the transformative time um, from being on the streets to potentially going into housing if that's what they would like. It has been eight months since the organization launched, making this the first winter that people will experience living in their shelters. The shelters that our residents stay in are actually ice fishing tents, and then they have electric that is wired to each individual um, shelter where they can plug in their heaters. But in order to keep supplying consistent resources, they're asking for the public's help. So as we go into the winter, as far as supplies that we need is, is the norm that many people automatically think of things to keep us warm. So gloves um, really could use diabetic socks. Meanwhile, Forgotten Louisville makes it a weekly goal to pass out care packages, but this season they're doing something different. During the colder months, especially like this upcoming weekend, we won't be out just one day a week. We'll be out every single night going to the areas where we know people are sleeping. It's about life saving efforts to support those living in extreme weather conditions. Other donations they're looking for are blankets, gloves, gloves, hats, hand warmers, and long johns. We're scrounging around like crazy. We're getting on social media saying, hey, we need your help, we need your support. Inflation has affected the amount of supplies they can provide, and no matter how short of supply things are, they continue to still look out for so many. If they choose to stay outside, we're going to make sure that they have the supplies that they need to sustain through that next 24 hours. And you can go to our website at whas11.com to learn more on how you can help in Louisville. Taylor Woods, WHAS 11 on your side.